I want to have uncomfortable conversations. I want the room to be divided. I want people to be screaming and mad at each other. Then I want them to understand each other. I want to see things from a different point of view. This is Unpopular Opinion. Oh my God, outstanding citizens, you are doing the most. Thank you so much for all the love on social media. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and sharing the podcast. Welcome to Unpopular Opinion. You know who this is. Guys, today's guest, I don't even know how to break it down to you, but Jesus is here. <laughs> Basically, Kyashu Guma in the office. We don't know how to act. I had to put on my Sunday clothes because, wow, how is it that we are here sitting with our public protector, Umam Busisi Vemkebani. Molo Mama. Molo 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 Thank you. Yes, I'm also excited to be here. You have first yeah. time to be in this beautiful place. I can't believe you yeah. came. You're not know amazing about you. Mm. The fact that us, the people on the ground, can just call you and be like, "Yo, mm. come hang out with us," <laughs> you know. Yeah. So I'm really thankful for that. I want to take off these earrings because mm. Zara and they're going to interfere with our talk. Okay. But um, even with the the floods in Durban, I remember mm. that's what struck me was that you were in Ulundi mm. within the people. Mm. I've never met you before, but I was able to call you and be like, please, you got this podcast, you know? Mm. So you are accessible. This is like calling God and saying, yo, please, can you come through? <laughs> like, we've got this thing that we're not being serious. Yeah. I think that we haven't celebrated you enough. I think that the media has played a big role in us not seeing that yeah, you are a gift mm. from the ancestors from mm. us mm. and you carry the same spirit as Abu Mam Shalot, Abu Mam Wini, and so it really I'm babbling and I want to know more about you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but well, thank, thank you so much as well for giving me that opportunity. Um I'm a I'm a people's person. Mm. Um being a public protector, I mean, for the whole of my life, I've been working with the vulnerable, mm. the rejected. Um I mean Yes, starting work, I started working as a public prosecutor. Um, from there, then working in international relations. Let's uh, go from the beginning, yeah. beginning, because mm -hmm. I want to, we've got to chill here and okay. get to the public protector okay. stuff. <laughs> we not to know from the, because yeah. when a person is given big challenges, mm. it means that they had other big challenges. You don't just arrive at a big challenge. Yeah. So we want to know who was this Busi growing up, what were the kind of things? Where do you come from? I saw you had a double barrel surname. I didn't even know you were married. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. we want to know the person. <laughs> okay. Oh, Ziki. <laughs> I'm I, so excited. Yeah, it's true. I mean, I think we spoke about it one day, um, the issue of, um, you know, the rejection. Sometimes when you are too much anointed yes. um, or having that gifting. Yes. You face challenges in life. Indeed, um, uh, growing up uh, from um, one day, Bell, oh. that's where I spent uh, most of my um, growing up because I start, I, we arrived at Kwakafontein when I was, uh, I think, around six, seven. Okay. I was doing grade uh, one. Mm -hmm. So then, um, growing up in the streets of Kwakafontein, they are still dusty even now. Um, nothing has changed much. Mm -hmm. um, yes, but then uh, I know what is it as well to, well, we, from from Hamaskral, we went to Kwakafontein. But then the, 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 the biggest uh, challenge of um, experiencing uh, acute, <laughs> I would say acute poverty, it was in Hamaskral. The place was dry, the place was, um, you know, um, no water, um, mm. and we had to move to 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 to, to Kwaka Fontaine. About that, but, what, what did they do? My father was an unskilled laborer. Worked. Uh, we farms at first. Worked at Bosasol, mm. but as an unskilled laborer. Mm. And uh, my mother has been a housewife mm. for the rest of her life. My parents were never educated. Mm. Well, my father apparently went to school up until grade uh, or standard one. And uh, my mother never um, was never educated. Mm -hmm. But then later, 
uh, she did a a, a, a homeschool. A, mm -hmm. What do you call it? No, a that, Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. So then um, at home uh, we are we were nine. Wow. Yes. yes. Oh, <laughs> my mom was busy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were nine. My first, um, the first born, my first born sister, I don't know her. Okay. She passed on, I think, around 1964. Um, then um, my... Um, when were you born? 1970. Oh, okay. Mm, and, okay. Uh, and, yes, we've got uh, six girls, all along six girls and two boys. So, I mean, I'm between the boys. Okay. Yeah. So, um, so... Okay, so uh, you were taking me from, okay, Haman's grass. Yes. In fact, I was the, the, born in Bethal. We moved from Bethal. I think I was uh, two, three years. We went to Haman's grass. Uh. Then from Haman's grass, I went to mm. mm. And high school and whatever. Kwaka Fontaine, yes. I studied the Kwaka Fontaine um, primary. By then, we were in lower primary senior and uh, um you know i studied there then i was a teenage mother i was pregnant really? at the age of seven, 16 uh, because i gave birth when i was uh, 17. Mm -hmm. that's where then this is juicy is this was yeah. <laughs> okay yeah, I was a okay mother, and it has been a very um challenging experience oh okay and that's why i'm saying Ama rejections, then you start facing mm. rejections. Then by then, when you are pregnant as a girl, mm. you shouldn't be, you, in fact, you were dismissed from school. Mm. So fortunately, I was mm. never dismissed because, uh, uh, you know, uh, in life, sometimes God will bring people in your life mm. um, because there was one principal from another school um, who was a tenant at home. So knew the principal of my school. So then they had to plead, oh, with yes, uh, please uh, um, don't dismiss her. Then there were challenges at school. You know, boys were laughing at me and they were saying they are sleeping <laughs> because mm. I'm pregnant. You know that story. I don't know whether you no. know that. Myth. Yes, um, they used to say when uh, somebody is pregnant, then that person is making us to sleep. <laughs> so one teacher, uh, teacher, well, Mr. Matlangu used to then say to them, "No, when you are not sleeping at home, many busy, nabo koko when going up and down, uh, not sleeping, and then don't come and blame this child." Exactly. So yeah, um, so I managed to. Uh, uh, so were you the, the only girl in your class who fell pregnant? Because mm -hmm. that's. Quite. It was very Ooh. terrible. Bad those times. And you feel you. But the, it's a blessing later on in life because then the, you're closer to your child. Exactly. But we don't yeah. talk about that part. But it's, when it's you're still, true. it's like it was, it was a painful uh, process. But then, fortunately, I then uh, gave birth in about April, 29 April. And uh, as well, I stayed at home, I think, for two weeks, mm -hmm. not even the longer period, two weeks, because I had to go back to yes. school. So I have one of my close, close friend who is still my friend even today, who used to bring me homeworks, who used to bring oh. me schoolwork uh, to show me what did we do. So I had to catch up. Then I went back to school, I think, around May. And I passed with flying colors, yeah. I think what's amazing about your story is that, especially for the black child, you can come from a disadvantaged background, you can fall pregnant in school and then end up a public protector. Exactly. <laughs> you know so I, I think that's the most important thing that uh, it, it doesn't matter your background. Yeah. It doesn't matter the challenges you face in life. And even for parents, because if I didn't have, my parents were very strict mm. and they loved education. And again, at that age, uh, then even neighbors will say, hey, don't play with this. Yes, yes, she's because... pregnant. Yes. You exactly. get pregnant. Uh, yes, you, yes. You... Lucy's a pregnant. Exactly. <laughs> so now, um, but uh, I, I thank God that uh, they were supportive as well. They said, go back to school. Now, going back to school, I was telling my daughter, she's, she has a, a son who's two years, uh, was two years on the 18th. 
um, how, how, well, asking mommy, how did you make it? Uh, I'm saying, because when she's complaining, she's doing culinary, uh, I'm doing practicals. I come back late, my son, and I'm saying, hey, Mina, I used to, near break, during break, um, go home, breastfeed, and go back. In the morning, I used to wash Amalir. Till now, we were not having Amal Pampas. Yes. Wash. And uh, from there, go wow. to school. Break home. In the afternoon, you go home. You do everything. You cook. And, you know, so you study. And you fly, pass with flying colors. So I sense mm. a very spiritual thing around you, mm. Aura. Mm. I want to understand your relationship with the universe or God or whatever your higher. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, everyone has. You, you should have your belief system. Yeah. Mina, mine is 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 God. Um, well, uh, if you then uh, relate to that, because that's what will also keep you uh, going. Um, I am a believer, and um, you know the issue of uh, grace. Because now, in the biblical sense, or currently we speak about, yes, there's a law, the Old Testament, the New Testament is about grace. But the issue of um, knowing yourself, because, again, greater is he that is within you than the one of the world. Because the minute you know yourself, I think that's a belief of, uh, I'm a Buddhist, your inner self. So, um, but then in the biblical and Christian um uh, uh, belief system is, is like that. I'm one person who has a very stubborn faith. Well, if I believe in something and that it will happen, indeed, it will happen. Mm. You know, um, if it doesn't happen, again, I accept that, um, well, it means this was not for me and I can't change it because it's, it's, it was not meant to happen. Mm, yeah, because I do, I do feel a lot of, um, mm. and you get, you draw a lot of spiritual power for this political space that yeah. you occupy. <laughs> okay, now yeah. I want to get into the meat. Mm. <laughs> mm. Can you unpack what are Chapter Nine institutions? What does that mean? Because what happens is that you guys are clever and you understand this kind of fashi. <laughs> your objection, your honor. <laughs> we don't know what's going on. We just uh, act like we, you know. Mm -hmm. So can you pack, unpack what is a Chapter 9 institution? Yeah, um, you know, Chapter 9 institutions, when you go to the Constitution, there are various chapters. Okay. I think everyone should know that chapter, uh, uh, the, the Bill of Rights is in Chapter 2 of the Constitution. All the rights to have to to this to this. So then, Chapter Nine. These institutions were created to be independent, to operate, to be independent, to operate without fear, favor, or prejudice. Meaning, then um, they would be doing their work. They don't do any person a favor. They don't. Um, uh, well, their main aim is to make sure that South Africans experience and enjoy um, the rights which are provided in the constitution. So it's the public protector, is the auditor general. Those are the only two who are called, originally those were the only two um, which were thought of or were established. And uh, by then when uh, President Nelson, the former President Nelson Mandela was at the one um, Taiwan University where he spoke about how critical it is to have a public defender. And yes. uh, then uh, they then called this institution a public protector, uh, whereas internationally and otherwise is called the ombudsman. And uh, irrespective of whether it's a woman or man, because it's a Swedish uh, name. So, and then we've got the auditor general. So those are the only two which are called public protector, Auditor General. Yeah. Then the others, you'll have the South African Human Rights Commission, mm -hmm. the Gender Commission, um, the IEC, and the Commission for Religious and Linguistics, and ICASA. So is it all the organizations that deal with human rights? Human rights. Okay. Because, um, yes, all of them Basically, deal with human rights, but also support government and strengthen 
uh, 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 processes because your Auditor General will then audit the books, how they use the money. I was going to ask you yes. what does the Auditor General do? Yes, they audit, they check whether the budget you are allocated for, because we are also audited by the Auditor General. Uh -huh. How did we use our money? Uh, did we use our money within the relevant uh, legislation? So they check the government? The government the and governance budget. issues. Okay. Yes. Okay. Then the Gender Commission will then focus on women's rights. In fact, not women's, gender issues, because it doesn't mean only women are protected by the Gender Commission. Yes. Even men, yes. I mean, men yes. must access issues of their children yes. and, and all those. So then the South African Human Rights Commission, which will deal with all those rights, and then uh, the Commission for Religious and Linguistic, they are only focused on those uh, 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 rights relating to freedom of religion, uh, issues of uh, fights, and uh, uh, they do mediation, alternative dispute resolution. Mm. I think you remember the CRL was supporting U Uzundi. You remember? Yes. At, uh, at, the, at the hearing, yeah, that pastor who still has to face... Um, uh, the whole uh, uh, criminal proceedings. And then CASA, I mean, the issue of access to information, access to, I mean, they are relevant to um, overseeing the operations, the licensing for uh, community radio, uh, all the radio stations, SABC and, and whatever. So from my understanding, from what you're saying, these entities are supposed to be independent. Independent. And... Um, the unfortunate part is that, yes, we are supposed to be independent, but we de depend on the very same government to provide the money. The so whoever controls the... Exactly. Pass, uh, uh, you know... Uh, so then how does the... that work? Because then that becomes a fast then. It's difficult because sometimes then you will be strangled or sabotaged um, by your budget being cut. Yes. And you can't be able to then uh, do your work or... Um, effectively because sometimes then you have challenges of reaching the public or as well delivering services i mean for instance uh, with the public protector we had our budget cut um, i think for two conservative years um, and it's not only thousands it's millions and there's nothing you can do about it there's nothing because we also depend we national treasury to provide so then us. what's the point of your department then if it exists but it's controlled by the government that's a challenge because we got the very same government in their um I, uh, the, the the national development plan that 2030 plan year government yeah. into where do we want to see ourselves? They said the public protector is one of the institutions which should be properly funded mm. and so that they can assist government to deal with issues as a maladministration. Yes. Because in maladministration, Tina, we focus on maladministration, which is a fertile ground for corruption. Yes. Because the minute you, as a public servant, you are delaying to process a license. What does that lead to? Then a person that black office, market. exactly mm -hmm. black market, or alternatively, uh, how much can you pay so that you uh, can fast right. track it? Yes, as an SMME, you do e services for government, and you are expected to be paid within thirty days. And then, um, if you are not paid, um, a person will say, no, I can do something. Uh, how much uh, can you? So that's what is unfortunately happening. Therefore, as an institution, we try to make sure that that is not happening because government should be, if they promise that we will process, we will pay a small uh, business within 30 working days. That is happening. There's no then a gap mm. of allowing um, public servants to then manipulate the system. Yes, I, so e, e public protector, the office, what do you guys actually do? Like day to day when I went that? Day to day when I went that? That's a, a critical question, Tsinki, because people, my uh, e public protector, Tsinki yeah. <laughs> will call and say, please help me uh, resolve this matter. Mm. Or oh, I've lodged a complaint with the public protector, nothing is moving. And Utolunguti, 98% of the work which is lodged with the public protector, I don't even 
touch it. Mina. Exactly. What is You're happening? The face. Exactly. <laughs> Not face per se, but yes, there, uh, there is what I, I am supposed to do. Yes. But then when you come to the public protector and lodge your complaint, we only do complaints against government departments in state mm. affairs. We don't have jurisdiction. We can't investigate private companies. Mm. Uh, we can't investigate court judgments. So, wow. Mm, that's how wow. it is. I, I remember I went to Nigeria with the, as the president of the, the, the public protectors in, in, in Africa. Yeah. So we had a, 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 a conference there. They have a mandate to investigate at least even um, private companies. Yes. Bona. They have a mandate to even investigate the judges. It's a, but then that's how mm. we know that South Africa, there's a problem. Yeah. Because the handlers at the top, the capitalists, mm. this they is have why that the, you don't yes, have yeah. that so, jurisdiction. Yeah. I don't have jurisdiction over there. So it's when you lodge a complaint, it's um, lodged with the, any office. We've got offices at all the provinces mm. and um, even regional offices. In total, I think it's around uh, 18 offices which we have. So let's say you are in um, Free State. We have an office at a, a, a Bloemfontein. Mm. We have a regional mm. office as well at Kwakwa. You go to, in fact, put at each other. Then you lodge your complaint, they complete the form. Either um, um, you can send an email, we open a file, it's assessed to check whether we have jurisdiction or we don't have jurisdiction. I'm nowhere near, near those. Mm. Um, then if we have jurisdiction, mm. they then contact the institution, they bring the matter to their attention, they respond. That's what we call Audi Altara uh, Partem Rule, where you yeah, say... Well, yeah, you're starting <laughs> now, <Kali. laughs> So they give that department an opportunity to give us their side of the story. There is this complaint, you didn't pay in CK within 30 working days, why haven't you paid? On Sigi is complaining that you've appointed Ubu Sisi where you've advertised the post, Musi must have a degree, mm. but Musi doesn't have a mm. degree. I have a degree, I have two years experience. So we write to them, give us the advert, give us the people who applied, give us your uh, policies as a relevant mm. to HR. Then the investigator will check, did you comply to your policy? If then you didn't comply, then it's a finding. So our work is as simple as that. So you mediate between the government and, and us. the people. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. And we don't defend you. We are not the defenders. We are not you the just... attorneys. We mediate. We make sure good nabo. We then say, no, Ziggy, your matter is not substantiated. Mm. But ma, when they haven't done anything correct, we then say, rectify here, even uh, apologize for the delay you've caused because you've prejudiced this person. Mm. So those are the bread and butter issues. Yeah. The ones which reach my desk are the ones where... The big ones. Yes, <laughs> uh, where you find that it, it, there's then maladministration is systemic and it's leading to corruption mm. and it's leading to issues. We need to then recommend and have a remedy which will correct the root cause of that problem, putting us a repeat. So I don't know if you can remember off the top of your head the most like the juiciest scandal, well, besides <laughs> the ones we don't want to talk about, mm. but something that you found and you found there was corruption and, and like a story that we not, might not be aware of. Well, you are aware of, uh, it's not juicy. Yeah, don't get, uh, well, people mustn't get us wrong. But it's, um, you know, yesterday I was reading on Twitter and there is this, uh, um, um, I forgot the, the handle. They say, you know, you have the luxury of not knowing what I know. Yes. I you, so I saw that. that yes. Yeah. So that was like, wow, mind boggling. Yes. Because, you know, some of the people you just sleep, you don't even care what's exactly. happening. You just live your life. You, well, there's issues of load shedding, there's issues of IPPs. You don't care, but you don't realize Uti, that is huge because some of us who, are, who know who what's happening, 
and uh, realizing to once that thing explode or once it's privatized, you wouldn't have that luxury. You will have a situation where um, those who have will have their, their solars, their generators and everything. That's then it the means thing. you are going back to basics. So, well, some of us, yeah, was our some of us, you know, yes, you have to So that's rely. something you would, as the PP, intervene in, wouldn't it, when they're trying to privatize a state-owned entity? Not really try to privatize, but then we intervene uh, if there's a complaint lodged, because currently there's an investigation which is ongoing. Yeah, my IPP is Wuti. ESCOM has been paying a lot of money and how were they appointed? We have to follow the process. Mm -hmm. Is the process followed? Uh, Nababa appointer. And yes, in that instance, I must indicate that government agreed that we are not only going to focus on coal. We have to have an integrated system. We have to depend on solar. What actually is going wind, on? Please can and, you break it down to us? This well, whole, they are, whole, they, are whole expects, they are expects to that. I will ask you to invite okay, either Michaela Coco or Brian okay, Monife okay. or I even any that. other person in that. that space so okay. that they can explain. We but can Mina, that. I will come in the space so to, to protect the public, to make sure that uh, in the we long can run... We electricity. Exactly. And it doesn't lead to that. So there should be a process where what they agreed to do, that integrated process, Uti, we have all the energy supplies uh, we don't maybe then leave coal uh, uh, at all we focus only on this and uh, at the end of the day people won't be affording mm. that i mean the the biggest one which people will say um uh, 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 well it, it, it's a it's a it, it, it's a fact because when we conduct investigation we receive all the information mm. and for starters ma the investigators are the ones who are conducting the investigation i think you've seen one of the uh, witnesses yesterday <clears throat> who was mm. giving evidence mm. um, <clears throat> what tra uh, transpires because they are the ones who will be drafting letters. If we investigate the president, they draft the letter, um, especially there are those investigations where we investigate ministers, president, and those ones should be finalized within 30 days. Yes. The law provides for that. Then there are those others we investigate under the Public Protector Act. Those ones we can then say, okay, we give ourselves six months, a year, or two years, depending on the complexities, like Bonabo Eskom, where mm. we don't have expertise, but we rely on getting expertise from the experts who are dealing with that particular matter. Uh, for instance, the CX matter, or the one we call CX matter, it took the office, uh, it was launched in 2010. Mm. It was only finalized by me when I yeah. started working. Yeah. Um, so it, it, it's things like 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 those ones, it, which shouldn't be taking this long. But then sometimes it's so involved to such an extent that you'll have to take time to to investigate. So I want to know what happened with Steinhoff. The Steinhoff matter. Well, it's 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 um, there was no complaint which was lodged with us. Wow. Because no, it, it's because oh, it's a so private it's company. Yes, ah, it's a so it's private not company, in not in our jurisdiction. But then again, so it's we're a, not protected. The public is not protected from the corporates who are just eating yeah. our our things as the public. Yeah, it it depends. Um, it's not protected in terms of what the public protector does. That uh, biblical uh, uh, David, which the 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 the, the public is. And the uh, government yes. is the Goliath, yes. as Mukweng Mukweng said it in his judgment. Um, but then you'd find then it's supposed to be the law enforcement who will have to check whether there's any criminality. It's your competition commission sometimes where they check. Um, especially this is crazy. The, mm, that's where. Mm. This is crazy because our big problems in South Africa is the corporates and the judiciary. Mm. So if our watchdog doesn't have access to those two, then, mm. since then? Well, in judiciary, there's the Judicial Service Commission, um, uh, which uh, is having, um, maybe we can say, you might be protected if there's anything you've lodged with them against the judge, but Nakona, not the work which they are doing. Because remember, in law, the way it is, is the lower court, 
uh, if you are not happy, you appeal to mm. the higher court. And, and But then if it's a conduct of a judge, the way I, I be behaving, mm. I, I mean, there's one we, we I lodged against uh, Judge uh, Potterell in, in the uh, Victoria High Court mm. where he was, uh, she was going on and on and being nonsensical, nonsense. And so that was the complaint we lodged. The, the good thing about that uh, Judicial Service Commission, though, it what takes love. What was she doing? Well, what uh, I've done in one of the of the reports, yeah. Well, not saying it well. I need to imagine I'm represented by the legal team. Yes. And whether the report which was drafted again, as I was telling Oguti, the only reports which reached my desk is when the investigators have conducted the investigation. They've analyzed all mm -hmm. the evidence. They've checked uh, because normally I would say we check the truth of the complainant the truth of the department, and we determine and cover our own truth. We do that by doing what? Checking what the law is saying. Mm. Is this conduct contrary to what the law is saying? So when they do that, then they comply, compile what we call a, a provisional report or a, a preliminary report, but we call it uh, within our terms, in terms of our law, it's called a Section 7 9 notice. Section 7 subsection 9 notice because it's provided in that uh, a section so we give you again another opportunity to give us your side of the story because we will say we've investigated we've uncovered that you've appointed to busisiwe has no qualifications your policy and your job evaluation says this position should be uh, with a person of two years five years experience or a degree and then in your advert you said that but you appoint somebody who does it. So then we give you that opportunity to then say, no, you are wrong, but here is the, um, maybe a condonation we received possibly from the MEC, for instance, I'm just giving you, and our policy says we can do that. Then there's no finding. But then if you can't provide, then we finalize it, we issue then a report. So that's where uh, I come in. When I have media briefing, issuing reports, or sometimes, uh, we issue a statement and say, we've posted the reports against the following institutions, and we can still do that. Okay. So then private companies, no. Um, judges, no. Mm -hmm. I was saying the Judicial the Service problem. Commission, maybe the thing which can give us hope is that there is on, not only the judges, it's not no, only the Chief Justice and whoever and whoever, but as well the politicians as well, save they in that judicial service commission possibly they can mm. bring in that element yoguti they are politicians who are voted by who you and they are the voice but they, they are collude, supposed they to collude with the judges <laughs> the politicians are colluding with the judges what must we do now well, in a in a proper uh, running democracy thank you they are supposed be to happening. be firm they are supposed to be independent that yeah. independence there they're supposed to be independent. And that's where also they should be bringing it justice because the issue is staying off. If then you have people who can take it to court, mm. which is expensive, it's the hands, exactly. who can only access justice. Yes. So it justice should be making sure that that is dealt with and it justice should be making sure that now that they assist in this issue, you realize that those rights, it's not only the chapter nine mm. institutions, mm. but even the justice system should be saying, is this conduct also in accordance with what the con constitution mm. is saying, the values of the constitution, the preamble? Because we are saying what? We should be equal, we should be having access to all the resources because it's based on what? The Freedom Charter. You know, another thing that I find interesting, um, the personality politics that come with being PP. We as the public have got our favorites, and then it affects how we, <laughs> how the work is done, you know, and each term, and then mm. it's, you know, there's a lot of talk. So what, how do we approach this thing? How do we separate the person from the office? You know, the public protector, when I'm still in office, you can't separate me from the office. Mm. Uh, as you said, mm. I'm the face. Yes. Unfortunately, I, I faced a personal costs for the work which I I depended on the people to help me because in terms of the Public Protector Act, 
they are doing their work. I've delegated my powers. They should bring their work to me. And whether is it humanely possible to, in a space of a year, to deal with, if let's say we issue um, 50 reports, to be meticulous and make sure that uh, I don't delay. Because remember, we investigate mm. undue delay. Now, if people are subjected to the delay by us, mm. what does it do? And you do things, um, you know, um, in good faith. And uh, even our law does provide that the public protector mm. cannot be subjected to litigation, to civil claims. Yes. Um, but then, unfortunately, How do we make happens. sense of this ridiculousness exactly. that we're seeing in the country? Where we're just yeah. like... Yeah. Because even, have... you know, when mm. I don't want to jeopardize you or anything, but when I'm watching, I'm like, even the witnesses are... Dodgy, dodgy, dodgy. Mm. And it's like, guys, this doesn't make sense. And how is it okay with us? And where is our voice as the public? Because the public, that's why I was saying, please break down the public protector to us mm. so that we understand that you are actually our voice mm. in that office. And the Definitely. fact that you're having to do your own personal costs for mm. things that happened at the office doesn't make sense. Exactly. So that's that's what uh, you can't separate because the public the constitution says public protector. It doesn't say office of the public protector. It's public protector. So you are the uh, driver of that particular office. And I think what also needs to happen is that uh, people should just not only focus also on personalities, mm -hmm. but then people should focus on um, not play the men, but play the boy. Is the that person time. exactly? That's the, another thing. You know, a lot of mm -hmm. the time, people are because the media has made it seem as if you are incompetent exactly. or stupid, mm -hmm. and exactly. you just, yes. But then, when you actually go and read and see what we have done, as an, yes, it's the complete opposite. And the lives have changed. So yeah. for me, I think it's realizing the power of the media in the country and the bias of the media and how do we now access the true you know that will take a well not much because something like this which we are doing yes. at least it also contributes yes. twitter social media yes. uh, it contributes because i remember i addressed um vet students and uh, one student was asking questions and saying, you know, I, the media, I listen to. So I said, you know what, I, uh, um, yes, you can, but do me a favor. Don't completely rely on what they tell you. Yes. Go for yourself and follow those institutions. I mean, now a lot of people have um, smartphones. Yes. They're on Facebook. Who are you following in Facebook? You understand? Right. Exactly, because then yes. for you to be empowered, if they speak about this public protector, why are you not following the public protector and see who? But what oh, is man. the public protector doing? What are they doing? The changes and whatever. Go on Twitter, follow those uh, pages, follow mm. those people, and hear them. You have to be conscious. Exactly. Especially when they write badly like, about someone, that's when you go look and look and check. But then why blindly when now you just believe what they say? And unfortunately, me that the way they operate um, for people to know, they will have this headline: um, wow. Kwebane is incompetent on yeah. this, and then uh, speak about uh, uh, the incompetent at the end and say Kwebane says this. What does it, because that's how, well, you are in marketing, you are in media space. That's what, because people are, you just have a catchy phrase. Yep. And uh, then people are just focusing yep. on it. People for, just go back to basics. Read. If you want to read papers, go ahead, but also go then and do your own research. Any research doesn't take long. Yeah. You have a gadget, you are on Facebook, you are on Twitter. You know, they are, you follow their pages. You I, read for yourself, you know? I even found it interesting where um, U Babutelez, was it him that stood up and said, no, but you guys are only putting the cases where she lost. Can we have the cases where she also won so that it's oh, more balanced? Oh, 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 yes, 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 yes. So mm. we are seeing the, 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 the bias from the grassroots of the actual... Uh, Commission. Mm, so we're like, okay, 
How are we supposed to make sense of this if we are thinking citizens? How do we make sense of this? Mm. And even, um, I don't want you to talk here, I'm going to handle this, okay. <laughs> where you get impeached when you ask the president to answer questions. That is questionable um, for us as the, 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 the people, because we're just like, okay, are we in a dictatorship now? Is it official that, okay, there's this one person, and then if you don't like what he's saying, then he removes you, or you must step aside. So it's just been a very difficult time mm -hmm. for South Africans, I think, to figure out. What to... I mean, Sakara, Ubona, our PP, we're just like, what? You know, mm -hmm. so it's been difficult for us. How has it been emotionally for you going through this whole? Uh, I, I won't lie, because uh, remember, I also, I was interviewed with be SA, SA, SABC. I will repeat it. I, I don't think it will have any impact on what is currently going on. Oguti, I mean, you know, also being told or seeing it in <laughs> on TV that I'm right. suspended. Yes. You know, I was with my grandson, we busy playing and whatever, and he said, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> but go, she, go, go. What did you go, know? Exactly, go, go, yes, go, go. And I'm like, Oh, suspended. I see one journalist is sending a message. Can you share the suspension letter? Suspension letter. So, yeah. I think I remember. I remember that confusion. Mm. Really, like, I haven't received yes, any letters yeah. or whatever. Then it's emailed. And, and the following day, there was a court judgment. I mean, they couldn't even wait for that. Or as well be called to say, please uh, expect a letter. Uh, or Yes, you know, like professionally done. No, um, I would say that, you know, again, going back to spirituality, yes. prayer helps. I've got a team of pastors. We, you know, we pray continually. Mm. That gives me strength. And I, I trust in God. It's for a reason, you know. Um, everything has, has, a, mm. has a reason why it's happening. And again, um, you know, this process, I also said I'm welcoming it because then it's for you, the public, to see them. When they say, um, I was incompetent, I did the mm. following, listen for yourself. And even those judgments, which um, are not supposed to be questioned, but now you are going to, because judgments mostly focus on technicalities. But you will then hear, I mean, especially yesterday, why I was investigating, I, I came up with those remedial action mm. as the public protector to say, what can, how can we use this report to benefit the poor, the marginalized? Yes. And what can this money do for the public? Mm. That was my intention. Nothing sinister, nothing mm. bad, nothing to uh, favor Shrinks any person or, mm. and stuff like that. So it, it was the intention. And it's always an intention because that's what also is um, uh, keeping me busy, um, you know, and focused because... Um, all these attacks, Pella, they started when 2017, mm. over and over and over, yeah. Mm, I mean, I 2017, um, it is, it has, I mean, since I issued that report, but besides, yes. remember DA calling me a spy and... Um, yeah, you're giving white people heart attacks, I must say. Yes. I can just imagine them going, you know, Bisitiwam Kobani, hey, <laughs> she's troubled, that Bisitiwam Kobani! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. And but in all those, I will also say to them, it's all it's for the benefit of everyone. Mm. Because as if we don't live in harmony, if there are those who have and uh, they live luxuriously and mm. everything, there will be a time where the the ones which you don't want to access whatever you have, they'll come and eat you by force. Yes, and we're you getting see? there. You know that. We're getting the people are getting poorer mm. and poorer. It's very scary to be in South Africa it's right now. It's worse because COVID, a lot of people lost their yep. work. They lost their yep. businesses. Yep. And all those uh, people are unemployed. So, yeah. We're in a very bad, like we're on a tipping. It's been a very, very scary mm. time. Um, and then I'm just trying to think what else we want to know from you because, you know, this is everything. Really, you know, <laughs> like, yes. um, I mean, we can't talk much about this, the case that's going on right now. Um, but we can, because oh, we can. I, would, um, I would say to people, watch, watch it. Uh, uh, you know, have your own um, view, 
don't just uh, take, take what, the, what media is saying. Uh, the media is saying and they will have headlines. What about when they, they say you're Zuma camp? Because they've politicized all of this and there's the, the CR camp, there's the Zuma camp, and then you are Zuma and then the, the, the one who's acting now is CR and... And it's oh, not supposed not... to be like that. I mean, but... yeah, I've been accused of that. And, and normally I would say, go again, do your own research, um, read for yourself. Because we've issued a number of reports against all those factions. Um, the so-called Zuma faction, um, Abu Mseven Zizwane, Abu, um, well, Abu Ban Van Royen, um, um, Abu Lusi Kikaba, um, yes, Ace as well. The, there is the second report, Yefrede, which we did, um, and a number of them. Under that other faction, they are saying, accusing us, Abu Ramaphosa, Kodan, and them. Then Gube against um, the very same DA members when the ANC has complained. Because there's this mem Executive Members Ethics Act, which is only used by MPs and uh, members of uh, uh, executive, executive view, mm -hmm. MECs, ministers, to complain against each other. Mm -hmm. So also some, t some of them are using it as a political tool to look if mm -hmm. they want to deal with the other opposition especially if you are a, a, an MEC, the, a minister or a president, then they lodge a complaint using that law. So, for instance, uh, Busasa investigation against the president, we use mm. that law. The Palapala uh, matter, mm. the complaint, mm. the ATM lodged that complaint under the Executive Members Ethics Act. Mm. Hence, the challenge, which the law is very strict, is uh, specific. It should be finalized within 30 days. And if we can't, if it's the president, we'll have to inform the speaker that we, we won't be able to finalize. And there's a number of those, uh, we don't finalize within 30 days, but we do. There were reports that issued against Mozile, um, mm. two of them, uh, you remember the so-called uh, colonial tweet yes. uh, against Double Winde and them. So if then you blame me that I'm a Zuma person, and uh, um, if I'm working with a team, how do I make sure to these people I say to them, no, don't touch you? Because <laughs> yeah, they do the work. Them, yeah. No, they do the work. They bring it to me. And I mean, I'm very, very, very strict and firm. And would say, um, we, are, we, are not, we are also violating the law. We are delaying to finalize this matter. I mean, you laugh. Uti, some of the uh, witnesses will come. I'm being blamed. Uti, I'm victimizing them. I'm strict. I'm, and mean, I want work to be done because we should be leading by example. Yeah. So there's no, well, it's for them because people will always repeat that. It's up to them whether. Then others will say it's, there's some question which I was asked by, is it, uh, I don't know what radio was it? I was in Northwest now. Or in case that, and would you know you are an RET uh, yes. person? I say, I wonder if we, if you are a black person, you don't believe in radical yeah. economic transformation then there's something wrong with yep. you because we need that. We need to be equal. Why must How other people not be? How can be insult? Thank you. So um, that one, you know, I don't get it. Because again, is that brainwashing. That's how you because, see how and then, the media works. Exactly. The because blacks it, do not think for themselves. Yeah. So now, RT, then it's, a, it's like an insult. So for me, any right-thinking black person, if you, then you don't want to access the economy and because currently the economy is still in the hands of the few yeah. and if we say radical economic transformation it means the state well which i've mentioned even during my interview if you go back to my interview when i was interviewed for this post i spoke about the triple challenges which is poverty unemployment and uh, inequality and i said the state must create an enabling environment mm -hmm. because you cannot expect uh, the public to fend for themselves and say a uh, private sector must uh, exactly. do this or people must buy generators to deal with. No, the state is your responsibility to create an environment. Yeah. If it's about transportation system, you should make sure that your transportation system is having the backup of the state. I mean, look at the issue, your, 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 your SAE and even the flights and stuff like that. There would be a stage where 
no one will be able. It's for, only yeah. people who yeah. are having the Abamish. resources. Well, because now if you check the, 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 the flights to Cape Town, a e single trip, 4,000. Who, who would afford that? You return 8,000. Or, I mean, if it's 4,000, even you return. Whereas um, in the past, how much were you paying? So it, it, it's getting there. Such a scary time yeah. to be alive. Mm. And you don't know to, when is the point going to break. You don't know why the people are quiet also. Mm. And, and those of us who are trying to... <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I, like that, that I, yes, <laughs> I like that... Yes, I like that well coat of yes. Burombo would say, you know, yeah, you one hand must be... Yep. You, you are fighting for people. The other hand, you must fight, you know? Yes, exactly. You because fight. I'm fighting for I'm you just Exactly. Wait. But they are busy I know. throwing stone at you. Stones I know. at you. Yeah. But you look so, well. Yeah. You know that? Thank you. You look so well. Yeah. I was just like, <sighs> like, what's yeah. going to happen? This is such a big thing. But then you arrive and it's just like, no, yeah, I'm chilling. Yes. Yeah, I'm no, right. Mm. <laughs> exactly, maybe as well others it makes them angry, but um, yeah, that's the power of uh, prayer. Yeah, I eat okay, I uh, right. exercise. I'm in one program now, I told myself, you know what, I need to shed some kilos, and I did that. Oh, you no, know, I was. Oh, were you? Because yeah, I feel like it was like, tiny. Yeah. Really? Uh, but not what you see on TV. Well, that is done intentionally. I think you know. Yes, 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 no. yes, 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 yes. No, but I was picking up and I was saying, ah, now but I you're need a real girl. <laughs> <laughs> you're a real girl. <laughs> yeah. But it was so nice hanging out with you. Thank, thank you. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. Thank we you. do wish you the best. I hope that in this whole drama that's happening, they don't affect your your because I heard someone mention an e your package for your retirement and stuff. Mm -hmm. ah, well, that's the intention. Um, that's what they're trying to do. They try to strip you. One judge, well, uh, Grechla, apparently said uh, because it's difficult to remove me. Remember, even the removal. Well, it's not even an impeachment. Actually, it's the wrong terminology which is being used because this committee should be determining the fit the fitness mm -hmm. whether indeed. Um, they would say I it's misconduct and I'm incompetent. Yes. And then when they recommend to, they take the report to parliament to vote on it. Yeah, it's fascinating. That's that when it's the, before. Exactly. Well, it's, I'm well, being suspended. To, yeah. I was supposed to be suspended when they are done yes. and they take that to the committee. But one judge said, no, because it's a difficult process, better you bankrupt it. So those personal costs and all, 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 all those. So now they are focusing on what we are spending in litigation as an institution. And a lot of those cases, I'm still protecting the public. Because if it's a, a matter-year vendor, pensioners, and this Minister of Finance uh, is taking it on review, it doesn't want to implement it. And I'm defending it. Just to, I'm opposing, because I'm opposing these matters. I'm opposing it so that the courts can, I'm assisting the courts, but I'm saying, can you look at the plight of those pensioners? No. They throw it out, and then they, uh, so those costs for the institution, when we defend the matters, and that started with the Nkandla judgment, because before my, Boma Tonsela, Abu Shwana, their recommendations, people were just ignoring them. But with the gun adjustment, that the remedial action of the public protector is binding unless set aside by the court. So now those who have money, they will then take us to court. Yes. And then um, you know what happens in court. Yeah. Oh, we know what so happens in court. That's the issue. So now they want to, to say, you know, you've spent so much money, or even in this, uh, this process, where I'm saying to the speaker, to everyone, no, the law says you've got the constitution. Do the things within the constitution. When I'm going to court to defend my right, especially the money which then they would want to possibly say I must pay it, I don't know. It's because I wanted my rights to be protected. And as my, SC, the, 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 my legal uh, counsel is saying, if 
I didn't do that, I would have been standing on my own there because those rules were even saying Amazon have illegal representation. The way wow. they drafted them, ETA drafted them, gave them to the so ANC. So like they were attack more than anything. So now, if they are busy, media again now is, is, is pressing. Now she's wasting a lot of money. There's so much to spend on legal. And if they are saying 62 million since the beginning of my term and the 14 million, then it's relating to this matter. Yes, it's a lot, very much. But the issue is I'm trying to correct the system so that, and not even for me, my successors, they would know who to, this is because there would then be a precedence. Would you deal with matters like this? Unfortunately, then that's that issue in South Africa of playing the man and not the yes. boy. Because there would be then judgments which are issued this way because it's in Kwebani. I think you know that mm. uh, video which was circulating that with Matonzela, uh, the public protector can do this, can instruct this. But with me, no, the public protector cannot. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I don't even want to mention. <laughs> Otherwise, That's why I'm yeah. saying hey, I pity law students. Yeah. Yeah, the, the justice system mm. in South Africa, I don't know how what we're going to do, how yeah. we're going to change it. Mm. Even you black people, I'm like, why are you agreeing to Roman Dutch laws and why are you not stamping your uh, Unfortunately, Shoka is then facing challenges because of that. I mean, he's a believer in making sure that, yes, we are a country where we should be having our yes, own. Yes, we've got little... Africans have got their own leadership structures. But that's the constitution. I think if we then amend the constitution, we should. Those are, are supposed those to be the conversations, the, conversations the referendum. How can we do? How can we start the whole process? Because this thing mm -hmm. where they get to control everything. So I think we need to go back to basics. You young generations should be doing that for us, for yourselves. Well, you <laughs> old generation are <laughs> sipping whiskey and smoking cigars yeah. and partying like you can't mm. believe. So we are being forced <laughs> to take leadership. Mm. Thank you, Mamba. Thank you. Thank you. It's Thank been you. such a, such a, such a pleasure. Yes. Outstanding yes. citizens. It's been beautiful. Remember the hashtag up. Uh, remember to join the conversation on Twitter Spaces on Sunday evenings with our guest. Thank you so, so much. We see you guys. We love you. And till next time. I want to have uncomfortable conversations. I want the room to be divided. I want people to be screaming and mad at each other. Then I want them to understand each other. I want to see things from a different point of view. This is Unpopular Opinion.